Back to the breaking news we've been talking about and that heavy police presence in Elk Grove after a deadly shooting. ABC 10's Bridget Biorla working to get the latest information for us this morning. This is where the incident happened, the Holiday Inn Express, which is on Stockton Boulevard again in Elk Grove. That's also where we find Bridget live this morning. Bridget, we know this all started around 1130 last night. What are investigators telling you this morning? Bria, it was a long night here in Elk Grove after a man was shot to death by police. It happened at this Holiday Inn Express off West Stockton Boulevard. And as you can see, police are still here. There's crime scene tape. This is an active investigation. We're told the man who was shot drove here to the Holiday Inn. He tried to book a room. He was denied. That's when he started arguing with hotel staff. They said to officers that he appeared to be impaired. Uh, he was not uh, very kind to them. They, he was also brandishing a firearm, so they called police. And when police got here, they tried to detain him, but they say he was not cooperating. He ended up running away. Officers tried tasing him. When that was not successful, one officer, we're told, opened their weapon. Here's what's happened next. The suspect grew angry when he was told there were no rooms available, and he began grabbing the phone from the employee as they were trying to call for help. Prior to that call, the suspect, who was later, who was believed to be under the influence of controlled substances, according to witnesses, had stolen his friend's vehicle and was displaying erratic behavior as he brandished a firearm. We're still waiting to learn the description of that man. All we know is that it, it is an adult male. We're also not sure where he was hit and how many times he was hit. Meantime, we are learning more information about the officer who was not injured, but we're told he was placed on administrative leave as the investigation continues. Bria Walt, which is standard in a situation like this. Bridget, thank you.